Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to BYB Tactical. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video on the CAA MCK, which is the one I have right here. I pretty much talked about how good of a package it is. I went over the pros and cons. And as I'm speaking right now, this BOGO sale is still going on. But before you go over and buy this thing, watch the video that I posted up again two weeks ago. You be the judge if this is worth it for you or not. And in that same video, I also did mention how I wanted to make a side-by-side -side comparison from this to the Flux Raider, which is what I have right here. Now, before I jump into the Flux Raider, I did make a video on this Flux Raider a while back, about a year ago, which I'll also put the link up right here. And it's still the great package from that video. However, I did add a few more features to it, which I'm pretty much just gonna make the video again of the Flux Raider just because I left out a few things and also the quality of that video wasn't the best. So I'm just gonna redo it. But anyways, so no further ado, again, I have right here the Flux Raider, as you can see right here for the P320. Um, a very sought out product, very hard to get your hands on right now. Um, this company, literally every time they do a drop, they sell out within seconds. I think this last drop, which was like a couple weeks ago, or maybe like, yeah, two weeks ago, sold out within like 30 seconds. People couldn't even get them in their cart. But yeah, let's just go over the features. I'm gonna go over the pros and cons um, and kind of talk about my setup that I have right here, how I set this up in terms of carrying, um, because it is a very compact package, as you can see, uh, in terms of for, for something in this type of caliber, which is pretty much a, you know, shouldering, I guess you could, I don't wanna say AR pistol because it is a pistol, but it's not AR style. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it and look at the features. So for starters, I, what I want to mention on what I did with my Flux Raider, like how I added my own personalization to it, starting from the very front, I obviously put the Surefire X300 in the front, which is actually the Legion one. I have a couple of these. Um, it's definitely a good light. They're expensive, but they truly are worth it. I mean, they light up a whole goddamn room if you're in, you know, in my backyard. You can literally have the whole backyard. So that's why I went with it. And also it is again, a kind of like a SIG partner just because they have the Legion on here. Another thing I added was the compensator right here, um, which I did have actually a few problems with the compensator in terms of um, it wasn't ejecting correctly, uh, which I figured out, I figured out those tweaks, you know, you have to get, I had to get one of those like uh, a smaller recoil or I'm sorry, less recoil springs. Another thing I did add on to it was this charging handle that's on here that already sits on the optic ready slide which is really cool i like the you know the feeling of it it's very easy to work on uh, it's ambidextrous so it works on both sides there is another one like this which i uh, i believe it's called the ripstick which requires you either removing your front side or it, the front side's attached to it and you pretty much do it from up here Personally, I didn't like it. Um, I did not buy it. I did not use it, but just from how I can see how it looks, it doesn't work for me. I'm not knocking it. It's just not for everybody, and it definitely isn't for me. I really do like this one better, which I will put who made this. I believe is Virtuous Engineering. I'll put the link right at the bottom of their website. Definitely check them out if you're planning on getting this. They have other things for the Flux Raider. And another thing I added on to this um, was the uh, Six Hour Romeo 5. Um, I actually had this on one of my ARs that I don't use that often and I used it for this. And I will say, if you're planning on buying this, what I found to work better as an optic is actually a red dot that sits high. Um, I had a micro red dot on here before. I just didn't like it. I feel like it, it sat too low. And with the optic that I have on here now, which is a Romeo 5, the way it sits up high, on the picket tail rail is perfect. It literally, as soon as I shoulder it, it's at my eye um, eye level. So it definitely does work for me. Now let's go over the pros and cons. So I'm gonna definitely go over the pros first and the cons, uh, but before I continue, the price for this chassis, not including the P320 or any of the other accessories I have on here is $450 now or $470 now somewhere around here so it is a pretty pricey thing but you could pretty much see for yourself you get what you pay for 
By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe at the bottom. I'm still trying to build this channel. I'm actually planning on doing a raffle at 500 subscribers. We are currently at 279. So come on guys, spread the word, get the subscribers going. So yeah, let's go over the features again for the Flux Raider, the P320 Flux Raider. One of the things I do like is that it does have a arm brace. Um, so it's pretty much for your arm, but you can shoulder if you want to but anyways i like that i like how it's a, such a small package like that so that i can say that's one of the one of the pros is just how much of a small package it is pretty much how i have my setup in terms of like how i carry this i actually have this bag right here uh, which I will also put down the link at the bottom where I got this bag. I can't remember the company. It's like this company in Australia or something like that. But anyways, let me pretty much show you. This is like a concealed and carry uh, bag um, or sling bag. So I put this in here pretty much how you see me do it right now. Let me just close this up. And there you go. You have this small bag, sling bag that I carry with me, you know, whenever I go out or anything like that. And also, well, the thing I like about this bag, it is an EDC bag. You see this little tab right here? All I really have to do is just pull down. All right, that was a lot harder than I usually does. It's probably because I'm sitting down and pretty much I'm ready for business and I'm ready to go. So definitely check this out. Check out the links I'm gonna have them below. So let's talk about another pro that I have for this. Um, I already mentioned how it's such a small package. Um, it pretty much works like AR style as well in terms of the safety select or safety fire select as you can see right here. So there's safety, there's fire. Safety, fire, which I will say I actually had issues with this when I first got it, which I reached out to the company. And by the way, ownership of this company, they're very um, in tune with their customers. They really do look out for you. They reach back out. If you message them, they'll definitely get back to you. They're actually on a Facebook group. So if you're seeing this message, check out the Facebook group. I won't say which one it is, but you can pretty much do a little search and you'll find what I'm talking about. But I did have an issue again with the safety select, what was our safety fire select. The issue I had was when I would put it on safe, it would not stay. It would, the, the trigger would still fire if I had a round in there. Um, Good thing I tested it all out before I put even live ammo in it and stuff like that, but they don't have that issues anymore. This is like one of the very first areas they put out. I don't know which number this is, but definitely one of the first ones they put out. The second thing I like is how you could put pretty much a bunch of attachments. Like you see here, I have the Surefire X300. I have the thumb stop, which they do not have picket tip rails on the side. Um, you do have to buy them separately and I think it's actually from the same company that does the um, Charging handle which is virtuals engine virtuous engineering uh, Like I said, I'm gonna put a link at the bottom So definitely check them out if you're looking into getting this package Another thing I like about them is how you can have two magazines now Let me demonstrate how exactly this works. So you have one magazine right here, right? Which is the one that goes in the main magwell and then you have a second magazine right here now they were smart enough to sh pretty much introduce two ways of unloading the magazine so you can unload the magazine with this button right here let me get it closer so right unload magazine magazine is out right you can put it back in and behind the second one the second magazine there is another button let me try to see if i can get you in there so there's a second button do you see that that button one one press pretty much releases that one but a stronger press releases the main uh, magazine in the main magwell and releases that one. Let me demonstrate that for a second, right? So main magwell and the second magazine, right? One press lets you go and the second, oh well, lets you do that. And there you go, you're back in action. You can see how awesome that is or how um, convenient that is if you ever have to use in the truly self-defense. Another pro that you have is it does give you the option in case you want to put a sling on it or anything like that. You have these little holes right here uh, where you could put those attachments. Um, like I said, it's a it's a pretty good package. Again, for four hundred and fifty dollars, it's definitely worth your money. It is pricey. I'm I'm not gonna shy from that. But if this, if this is something that you're looking for in terms of like an ultimate package, this really is it. 
But now that I've talked about a bunch of the pros, let's talk about the cons. So there's a few of them. One, this only works for P320. However, it can't, it's not really a con towards the company or the Flux Raider. The P320 is the only firearm right now in the market that you can take out the guts completely and put them in another chassis. Check out my video that I did before on that. Um, like I said, it's the only firearm on the market right now that you could take off the chassis and put it in, or I'm sorry, take off the FCU, which is the firing control unit and put it on or inside a chassis or in another P320. So that's not really a con towards flux. It's just a con in terms of it's only for one platform firearm. The second con I have of it is you cannot use high suppressor sights, which really sucks because they do uh, Flux Raider was smart enough to think about leaving you a window in case you don't have a red dot and you want to use your iron sights. They gave you that little window. Let me see if you could see the iron sights through that window. Let me just position it good. All right, I'm kind of fishing for it. But yeah, as you can see right there, there's a little window where you can pretty much look at your iron sights. So if you don't have a red dot, boom, you have your iron sights. However, they did not allow you to have high suppressor sights which really sucks the second con i have once you unload right this main mag wheel and you go to the second magazine right like that boom you on you get rid of the magazine you feed it right locked and loaded you now could only grab the front with maybe two fingers which is for me i have sausage fingers so it's really hard to grab onto that but you can see how it would have been better if they made this a little bit longer and you could definitely tell that there is room for it so this is the extended uh 21 round from sig p320 for the p320 and here's the legion one which is kind of like the shortest one they got you still got space so i'm not sure why they didn't go with a longer magwell so you could grab on or even some groovings i'm not sure again i feel like it has to do something with the atf all right guys well as of right now that's all i have for you for this video look out for the next video in the near future where i'll be making a side-by-side -side comparison with the flux raider and the caa mck uh, pretty much how they stack up against each other considering these are two of pretty much the same things and pretty much the only things on the market right now that kind of creates this uh, chassis slash use the pistol that you already have um, but i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe until next time